Welcome back. Finance Minister Tito Mboweni has delivered his budget speech and the tourism sector was listening closely to see how it would be impacted. The Department of Tourism has reprioritized 540 million rand this over the medium term to establish the Tourism Equity Fund. It's one of the measures put in place to help the sector recover. So let's get some industry reaction on this with Tourism Business Council of South Africa CEO, Mr. Chifiwa Chibengwa. Mr. Chibengwa, thank you for your time and welcome to the South African Morning. I mean, I, I know that, you know, the tourism industry has been hard hit. We're seeing almost daily uh, the reeling that the industry has to go through. But just paint us a picture, I mean, so far um, of your recovery strategies um, due to the impact, obviously, of COVID-19. Well, thank you for having me and good morning to you and your viewers. Um, you know, as, as you're all aware, you know, we are the industry that's worst hit. Uh, you know, when this pandemic began uh, almost a year ago, we were the industry that was first to be closed and we were the one that was last to be opened. And we continue uh, to get the impact of COVID um, uh, through many restrictions that are, uh, you know, put, uh, put out there. Uh, we have seen this in December with the beach closures. We've seen this with, uh, you know, curfew. Uh, and many other aspects of tourism or aspects that support tourism being closed. We are at a situation at the moment whereby um, many companies are still struggling to open. Uh, many hotels are still struggling to open. Bed and breakfasts, you know, being closed and so forth and so on. So mm. from the impact point of view, we are the worst hit. We continue to be the worst hit and we continue to advocate that uh, we should not have a situation whereby, you know, we have this start and stop scenario because it's not conducive for our businesses and therefore you know a relief measure uh, will be suitable you know for the entire industry to make sure that we continue to protect the supply side of tourism because if we don't protect the supply side of tourism when we go out there and create demand there won't be anybody else who's who will be operating tourism businesses that tourists will be coming to mm. so we've got to protect the supply side so that when the, we, we stimulate demand Demand is stimulated to come to establishments uh, and attractions and many other experiences, you know, that are protected. Right. I mean, speaking of that relief, 540 million seems to be, uh, you know, the, the, the capital or the, 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 the resources with which the Department of Tourism is prioritizing towards the equity fund. Is this a start? Well, this is a start. And again, you know, the equity fund, it's, it's, it's quite suitable for those that wants to uh, you know, expand their businesses and those that wants to come into the industry and those that wants to buy an equity stake in rather existing companies. So it is something that, you know, we do welcome. We do hope that uh, this fund can continue and it can be raised and become bigger fund. Uh, you know, 540 million is about 180 million rand per year for, for the next three years. Mm. Uh, and we do hope that there's an uptake in terms of uh, those that wants to participate in, in, in this industry. We have been talking about transformation for a while. And I think that, you know, an announcement or the launch of this fund by the president and this announcement that came uh, from the Minister of Finance, uh, it goes a long way in ensuring that there is transformation within the industry and that those that are previously disadvantaged who wants to come into the sector, they should be able to come in. But I must warn, it's not a, uh, a simple sector. It's tough at the moment. Yeah. Things are, are looking rather bleak. Uh, and uh, anyone who wants to come in, you should have a long-term view mm. uh, to make sure that uh, you, know, you survive. It is a tough, competitive industry, mm. and there are many players within the sector it requires, you know, someone. This is not a glamorous industry. Right. We, 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 you've got to come in and work. If you have to work, wake up, you know, in early hours of the morning to make breakfast for your guests, you do so. Yeah. So it's not something that one can just leave and say it's going to sort itself out. Yeah, and, and with that being said, I mean, it leads me to my next question about SMEs and also the, the, the businesses that unfortunately had to close down. Is there hope for them? No, absolutely. There is hope. Uh, we have been looking at scenarios that have been put out there by uh, uh, the you know, UNWTO, uh, which is the World Tourism Organization, uh, and also the World Tourism Travel and Tourism Council, and also you know, looking into our own situation here on the ground. So there is hope, but the hope hinges on how fast we roll out vaccines. Uh, and if we can do this as fast as possible and we can... Uh, make sure that you know the touch points of tourism or the frontline workers mm -hmm. within the tourism industry are vaccinated and the general population is vaccinated we should be you know uh, first in line to receive tourists that will be coming from other countries that are you know uh, fast tracking their vaccination in the next six or seven months we're gonna see you know the us the uk germany 
many European countries, the, the China and many other countries, saying that, you know, we have reached a certain level where we, we are comfortable, you know, with their citizens traveling. So we should be there being the first, one of the few first countries that, are, that will be ready and willing to accept tourists from those countries. So it's rather very important that we vaccinate and we prioritize the workers, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, are in the touch points of tourism right. together with other workers that are, you know, interacting with other people. All right, we'll leave it there. But thank you so much for your time.